like Tokyo Madison because there's lots of friends and it's pretty awesome to learn stuff. Chantry and Corey are brothers who arrived here at Tucker Maxson's school in 2016, the 2016 school year, um, from Alabama. So their family um, made a big decision to pack up and move and leave their family behind to come here for Tucker Maxson School. Yes, yes. Too loud, but good. <laughs> <laughs> Chantry, um, obviously when he came, his hearing loss had moved from severe to profound and so he was wearing his hearing aids but his hearing aids weren't doing very much for him. He was coming to school and he was excited to learn but there was so much he couldn't hear. So that meant that he had to go through cochlear implant surgery. Now seeing him a year later, he has just exceeded all of our expectations. A pig. Pig. It's a pig. 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 He oh. says, oink, oink. <laughs> Is that a cow? Cow. Can you say, no. No. No, that's not a cow. <gasps> that one. That one. That one's a cow. A cow. There's the cow. Uh-oh, you've uh -oh. got two. We're constantly coming up with new goals because he's meeting goals at a rate faster than we typically sort of evaluate them and come up with new ones. Open. 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 What is it? <gasps> a tiger. What? Oh, you need a fourth one? Fourth oh. I mean, he says everything. He went from babbling to to talking. Pantry, do you want some? Yeah, want some I'll water? take two. No, thank you. I'll take two. Okay. So when Corey and Chantry moved here, um, Corey started in first grade. He started services with me in speech and language pathology. He started services with a teacher of the deaf. And then he had his, his classroom. And we all worked together to help him learn to read, learn to listen. Literacy, handwriting, math. You like it all. Yeah. I remember. When he first came here, one of the first things he said to me when I introduced myself is he said, I can't read. And, and um, I thought that was just very interesting that he chose to, to tell me that um, because it was very much on his mind that he was going to a new school and that he couldn't read yet, but that's something that he thought he should know how to do or that he was anxious about or excited. And so to see him now a year later just reading with his second grade peers in his reading class doing the work that every other second grader is doing is super exciting. He was so eager to learn and so ready to learn that we've really just seen him grow in that way so much. You like you like to work? Yeah. Is that your favorite thing about Tucker Maxson? Yeah. The work? Yeah. And what word is that? Polar bear. Okay, how did you know that? Because I remember in my brain. And when you hear the story of two children, um, you hear a story about a team of professionals under one roof that can do what we love to do to support a family and their children to be able to achieve the dreams that they want. And then you hear the story of like two children who have worked extremely hard since the day they were born to learn how to communicate and listen in a world that largely uses spoken language. It takes a community to change the lives of children who really deserve the best.